Bonjour, I'm Vivian, and welcome to the beautiful Loire Valley of France, home to the world's most spectacular fairy tale castles. It is also the location of my home, a small neo Renaissance chateau which I share with my husband Simon, daughter Isabella, and whenever possible, friends and family. However, this is not our first chateau. For 17 years, we lovingly restored and adored a much larger castle until we decided to downsize. And now we are doing it all again, but this time on a smaller scale. So join us for some chateau fun, chateau life, chateau renovations, chateau travel, chateau food, chateau friends, and chateau love. I think you need a cup of coffee. Ah, grazie. And I think we should go to France. That's a good idea. Hi everyone, this is Chateau Love. We're here at the Chateau, whatever the name is. And we are... Intro. You're doing a great job, Curtis. <laughs> I love your style. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. You should do that all the time for us. Yes. I know, we're going to put you on permanent retainer. Chateau Love. Chateau Love. Curtis is the new host of Chateau Love. <laughs> So let's go have some fun in Paris. Yeah. Welcome back everyone. As you can see, we're in Paris and here I am with my great friends, Curtis Ryan Woodside. <laughs> Most of you know who he is anyway. Famous Egyptologist and his gorgeous husband, Filippo. Hello. Famous opera singer. Yeah. We are having the best time ever. It's my first time in Paris and it's a beautiful sunny day today. We've got a couple of days here in Paris and I'm playing tour guide. We are then going to head down to the Chateau where I've got some surprises for Curtis. Mm -hmm. Could there be something Egyptian in the Loire Valley? I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? And then we're going to be joined by our great friends, Stephanie and Philip from the Chateau Diaries at our Chateau. And we also have a really fun evening planned with them. Lots of fun things happening this week and we are taking you along with us. So let's go. Meanwhile, this particular site needs no introduction. Let's go. This is so cute. Puppy love. Those dogs are so adorable. Who else thinks that we need another dog? It's been a while since we lost Pavlova. I love Paris in the springtime. So the very first thing that I'm taking Curtis to do is called the Bateau Mouche. It's a little boat ride that takes us up and down the Seine and he and Filippo are going to get to see almost all of the major monuments of Paris in one hour. And if any of you are interested in a full tour of the Bateau Mouche and what we get to see, let me know and I'll give you one. love Paris in the springtime. I love Paris in the fall. I love Paris in the winter when it drizzles. I love Paris in the summer when it sizzles. I love Paris every moment. Every moment of the year. I love Paris. Why, oh, why do I love Paris? Because my love is he. So Curtis, yes. we just went past the obelisk. Are you excited? I am. I'm getting more and more excited. Say yeah. si bon. Lovers say that in France. When they thrill to romance, they say that it's so good. Say si bon. So I say it to you, like the French people do, when it's oh so good, every word. 
Okay, yeah. Curtis, I can't believe it, but we're walking down the streets of Paris and you have proposed to go inside an antique store. I know. And who am I to say no? I've spent too much time with Philip. You've spent too much time with chateau people, chateau folk. <laughs> and if you only would be my own. I can't stand up in here, neither can Simon. We brought you to a place just for the locals. I, I like it very much, thank you. <laughs> we have a similar one in Florence, but upside down, so uh -huh. it's a cellar. Ah. It's a cellar. Next time we'll take you. Yeah. I can't wait. You sit at a table with other people, yeah. so it's this long table you all sit together. And the food is always really good. So we're still here in Paris to see the Ramses exhibit. And it's so exciting. We're standing in the rain, so we're gonna hurry. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm coming! Vivian, yes. is it raining? I know. <laughs> Down, actually. Curtis must be in heaven. It's all about Ramses here. Everywhere we look. Absolutely. Look at this. Ramses, Ramses, Ramses. And we haven't even gone inside yet. Look, I'm getting flashbacks, Curtis. We were just there, Vivian. I know, we were just at the real place. Except it was much bigger. We're standing in front of a replica of the tomb of Abu Simbel where Curtis and I and a bunch of our favorite friends and some others went on an extraordinary trip last October. Now, that's also where I filmed the very fun historical and hysterical Agatha Christie style mystery. So if you haven't seen that, it was a lot of fun if you want to see some of the other Chateau vloggers being ridiculous and silly. This is where it took place, but it also happens to be the tomb of Ramses and Nefertari. And Curtis has some really interesting theories about some of the items that are going to be in this exhibit, which is soon going to go to Australia. So this is a really great chance for us to see this exhibit while it's in Europe. Probably a once in a lifetime opportunity. Are you excited? I'm extremely excited. Look at his excitement though. <laughs> I am excited. I'm a good husband. You I am are. happy because Kurt is excited. Yes. Wow. And that's the best that's the best thing, isn't it? The name here, these are all the glyphs and these are all the titles of Ramses. At the top, Amun Ra. Sis. So, Ramsey's other title, Son of the Sun, uh, continues on like that. This is a very fascinating exhibit. It's going to be in Paris and then it's going to Melbourne. So if you're in Australia, I would highly recommend going to see this. You may not have your own Egyptologist with you, but it's still definitely worth seeing. symbol. It was six o'clock in the morning. It was hot. It was Egypt. We had been uh, traveling around Lake Nasser for a week and finally culminating in this incredible visit to Abu Simbel. So this is a really nice way to revisit that journey and that experience, but also to give it context with the size, the scale, and the history. I feel really lucky to be able to experience this here in Paris. Behind you is the scale replica of Abu Simbel. Yes. And when we were there, it's just really hard for anybody to get an idea you of how big it is. Yeah, you can't. You can't until you actually go there. Exactly. Behind us here is this beautiful, beautiful tapestry of Ramses II. 
and this head is this is tiny compared to the real one. The real one would be going all the way up to the, the top of this the structure that we're in. Exactly. This is not even on scale. No. And this is already huge. Yeah. Amazing. So many of you may be wondering about the French connection with Egypt and the fascination with Egypt. And Napoleon actually invaded Egypt in the end of the 1700s, sparking a fascination with all things from that area. And as many of you know, I love antique and vintage jewelry. And around this time, there also became a trend in jewelry that was Etruscan revival, Egyptian revival, and I actually have a few pieces available for sale on the Chateau Love website. If any of you love Egypt the way that we do, maybe check them out. Yes. And this is really, really exciting. It's an Egypt <laughs> reunion. Without, sadly, so Stephen Sarah. Plus me. Plus you. He wasn't there. So I know. So now it's a, it's a new reunion. We'll have to have a reunion for this reunion. Okay. <laughs> okay, come with us. We'll show okay. you around. Show us around. So ahead we have the orangery. Yeah. Here we have the dining room through the Do you still kitchen. have your green windows? We do, but I have carefully concealed them okay. behind curtains. Ah. So you'll get to see everything now in 3D because you've only seen things on the vlog and it's really fun. Well, so I, I, can, I can say that it is way much better than being on the than watching it on the vlog. Oh that's so kind. Yeah. Thank you. It looks great on the vlog but actually here it is so beautiful. Oh like, seriously. Oh we're so glad to have you here. And look we left a door open. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> He knows when we're vlogging. He's like, no, I really want to be on. I want to be on the camera. Yeah, so yeah. now he's been on Stephanie's video. Now he'll be on my okay. video. Oh, this is super if you pull your camera out, he'll come back. Okay, so well, he's here. So <laughs> the neighbors, the neighbor's superstar cat vlogger. <laughs> okay, so this is the room with the infamous green windows. Yes, so on the outside we can see them, but on the inside, it's blissfully tranquil. Well, it is. Beautiful. So this was the original entrance, now you use the other side. Exactly. Okay. There was these no. two doors. So the, the mirror would have, would have been here and then there would have been an entrance on either side. Yeah. Can I sleep on here? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Right next to Isabella's schoolwork. Well, now you're here, Need we're going to have the best time ever. I know, you have a surprise for me today, right? I do, I do. We are on our way somewhere that may or may not be in keeping with our Egypt reunion. Okay. Here in the Loire so, Valley. You sound so excited. <laughs> More Egypt so... for Filippo. <laughs> we'll find so... something operatic for you in Paris. Yes. yes. I know. <laughs> no need, no need. We, we'll, we'll Skype in your mother and then she can sing. Perfect. They can do a duet. She'd love to. She'd love to. <laughs> or Ashley. Ashley's dying to sing exactly. with Exactly. And we'll have Isabella playing the harp in the background. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> Who's this handsome chap? <laughs> well, the sun cleared up, so we don't need that one anymore. No, not anymore. What are we doing first? Museum or cathedral? Museum, of course. What okay. a stupid question. Okay, Curtis, behind me <laughs> is the Musée de Tessé, or the Tessé Museum here in Le Mans. Le Mans, okay. Not far from our house. And 
I'm told, I don't know for sure, but I'm told that there are some extraordinary reproductions of Nefertari and Senefer's tombs in really? here. Now, it might not be good. I have no idea. Okay. I thought it would be fun to bring you and get your opinion of have a museum. Have you been in before? Never. 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 So, of course, uh, this is a first for both of us. And, and uh, let's let's go see what, what it's all about. This is, this is going to be either really amazing or really kitsch. Really kitsch. And either way, we're going to have a great time. So, this is probably the last place you thought you'd find yourself. It is. I had no idea about this gallery. I'm very interested to see. I see Nefertari waiting here. Yes. So. Is Nefertari inside? What could it be? What I, could it be? <laughs> if she was, that's news to me. <laughs> That would be very big news, wouldn't it? She's I, resting here in central France. As far as I know, her legs are in Turin. Uh -huh. Maybe the rest is here. Let's go find out. So this is the best chamber in Nefertari's tomb, in my opinion, Vivian. Uh -huh. Because over here, this is proving Nefertari's importance, Nefertari's education, because Nefertari is standing before the god Thoth, she's got the scribal palette, and up here it says that she speaks the words of the gods. So she is a scribe, she can write. She has a little frog here symbolizing a million years. So she will be a scribe. At the real Nefertari's tomb, is there a big descent like this? There is a big descent. It's actually even steeper. Really? I have a big surprise because we were upstairs in the tomb of Nefertari. Yes. But now we're coming into the tomb of Senefer, and the other one was very two-dimensional. Yeah. But come into this one. Oh, my God. They've actually <gasps> done this one in plaster. Descent. Yeah. What do you think? It is incredible. I was in the tomb of Senefer last year. Uh, we were inside filming, and there was a power cut. Oh my goodness. And Lummi and I, my mother refused to come down because it's like 100 meters in a steep wow. decline. Um, and the power went out, and Lummi and I were stuck in there for a couple minutes. 100 meters down. 100 meters down. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's so scary. Now you can appreciate the artwork without the, the drama. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, and this is all painted, not printed, like, mm -hmm. like upstairs. Do you want to see why this tomb is very special? Yes, of Often course. these beautiful patterns, mm -hmm. but it is this. Yeah, the ceiling is incredible. He has. Do you see that? All of the grapes. This is called the Tomb of the Vineyards. So apparently the reason why the ceiling was decorated with these grapes is that the ceiling wasn't smooth, and they were trying to come up with an interesting pattern that would be decorative. And I think that they succeeded really well. So look how beautiful Senefer's earrings are. The beautiful, delicate features, his little beard, mm -hmm. the two heart scarabs. But he is wearing a white t-shirt cuffed with gold bracelets, armlets. So white t-shirts have been in fashion for thousands of years. Indeed. And men's, men's earrings. Yeah. Well, you know I love antique jewelry. I'm really astounded because I thought it would be fun to bring Curtis and Filippo here for obvious reasons, but I had no idea how good this museum was going to be. Were you expecting all of this today? I was not. This is a perfect surprise. Thank you thought you. I was going to take you to see castles. I, yes. I, thought <laughs> gonna, I thought there was going to be a castle with like maybe a little obelisk or something. Uh -huh. This is so much better. I mean, look at this money, Vivian. It's just beautiful, the golden mask. It's late period, Roman. So the style is very different. And there are two beautiful blue sphinxes here. I've never seen that on a mummy cartonage before. of Saint Julien, which is the cathedral in Le Mans. And given that we've just done a whole lot of Egyptian stuff, we thought it would be nice to get a little bit of French history. <laughs> and it is a very beautiful, only standing in one side. It's a massive cathedral with extraordinary flying buttresses, a very beautiful entrance, 
and a glorious inside set inside of this wonderful medieval square. Do you guys have any idea what we're doing tonight? So I know it's a, a picnic. It's a, I know we, we know it's a picnic because we packed a picnic. But what else could we be doing here? Where could we be? We are surrounded by beautiful flowers and gorgeous parkland. It's a wonderful river. It's a murder mystery. Are we in Egypt? I don't think so. <laughs> Wrong vlog. Where else could we be? It looks exactly the same. <laughs> I suspect it's got something to do with castles. Okay. Oh. Let's go find out. Okay. <laughs> so here we are in front of the Chateau de Lette. We are about to have a fabulous picnic. Curtis is going to learn how to tango. Am I? I think so. The yes. question is, who are you going to tango with? Simon. That's the bit. <laughs> That's the mystery. We may, won't give it away yet. <laughs> I, think, I think Filippo might have something to say about that. I'm not going to get into Filippo's want to tang, way. I want to tango with you. And I want to tango with you. For sure. But first we have to go buy champagne. Yes. And we have some friends on their Very way. Very important. They are on their way. I think they might even be arriving. I see, I see two heads coming over the bridge. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, let's go see who it is. Let it go, see who it is. <laughs> Good to see you. you made it. Egypt. In Le Mans, yeah. and today, Renaissance castles. Just in the distance, we have Simon standing up, probably wondering where we are. As we look around this beautiful room, getting one last little glimpse inside the chateau before we go outside and dance the tango. I'm only gonna dance with you. You can dance with anybody you want to, but I would no, love it I'm if you dance with me. I'm to do it with anyone else. <laughs> You'll make me look good. We didn't expect to find ourselves in, which is the actual chateau kitchen, which appears to be the actual chateau kitchen, yeah. where people live and have a dishwasher 
and an actual oven, a very beautiful old range cooker. This, yeah, the range cooker, and then I have the modern one over there. And look, built into the stone. Imagine how difficult that would have been to go all the way into that thick wall, which looks like it's two meters thick. And beautiful flowers. They're very unexpected glimpse into modern life in this chateau. This is actually really beautiful. Mirror bathroom. And mirrored ceiling. That's incredible. It's actually really very beautiful. And a very simple but beautiful bedroom. I love it. Filippo is working magic in the kitchen. Mm. What are you making for us? So this is a white ragu with chicken and what was the other one? I don't remember the name in English. Guinea fowl. Faraona. Faraona. Like far, the female of Faraon in Italian. It's called like that. Exactly. Are we all excited? Very excited. Ah! And you so we're making name tags for dinner tonight. We and Curtis? Have, we have beautiful handwriting by Vivian. And squiggles from me. Oh, hieroglyphs, everyone's yes. name. So we have Emily so far. So it's E, -m -l -e. So Emily. Cool. Um, we have Philip. P, T, E, L, E, P. Philip. Wow. So it's all how it sounds. We have E, S, A, 
the ah. Isabella. Wow. Isabella. I love it. Shall I show you Vivian? Yes, please. So, yeah, Vivian. So your name starts with a snake, which is a horn viper. Mm -hmm. So it's and then an I, which is a reed. E, another snake, which is the water. Vivian. I like that. Much shorter than your real name, but it works out. <laughs> v -e -v -n. Vivian. Perfect. We could put two ends, but <laughs> I've got you. I've got you trapped down here in my basement yes. workroom. <laughs> She's slaving me away. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm back up to continue laying the table. Go. So we have the table set. It's beautiful. I didn't realize that this little statue was actually a flower holder. So why not? <laughs> and then we have these lovely little place cards, which has the chateau on one side. And then I wrote everyone's names on the outside. And then Curtis mm -hmm. gave us... Everyone's name in hieroglyphs. Yes. So, written out phonetically. Beautiful. Now time to light candles. It is. Would you like to do the honors? Do I have enough time? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Just in Hello. time for, for dinner. What are you doing? We're, we are finishing the table, and Filippo oh, is very hard at work creating oh, a masterpiece of dinner with his incredible sauce. Oh, Melon. Huge, beautiful bits Thank of classic you. pasta. Okay. okay. Beautiful. Men at work. Yeah. Well, one man in particular. <laughs> it's so good. You're so good at this. Should I be like those ladies on The Price is Right? Yes. Behind door one. <laughs> <laughs> is a Chateau Love mug. If you turn it around, my other house is a Chateau in France. Yes. <laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> Your other house really is a Chateau in France. Wow, thank you. Thank of course. You. Thank you for I can't decide which, whether it's mine or Stephanie's, but it's one of ours. Yes. You're welcome at both, thank always. You, you don't even need to buy your own. You guys have like the best gig ever. <laughs> Get ready, though. We're coming to stay with you in Florence. Come. Come. You're more than welcome. My other house is... An apartment, a small apartment. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm very excited. In the Tuscan Hills. Thank you very much. Thank yes. you very much indeed. <laughs> Yeah. I have to say, you're looking very dapper. Thank you. And show me today's brooch. Today's brooch is a cameo. Of the three graces. Yeah. It's a lovely colour and it suits my jacket perfectly. It does. Do you have cufflinks too? I do. I'm wearing Wedgwood cufflinks. Oh, those are the ones I gave you years they, ago. Oh, I don't know if you can see them very well, but... The sailboats. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. Put this off and then... Aww. So these ones are not for sale, but the problem I'm having is that my handsome husband keeps pinching the pieces well, that I'm putting on the website to wear while he can. <laughs> well, I tried them while I can. <laughs> while we have them, I'll try them on and see. Well, you're the They're best model good. ever. And I think you're going to look great for our date tonight. Oh, so thank you. I guess I better go get ready. Yeah. Just getting ready to go down to dinner after all that running around um, and setting up the table. It's time to go have aperitif, champagne, and join the rest of the group. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Not a drop spilt. No. Well Too done. Lord, no. <laughs> thank you for having us. Both We're delighted right for you now. To be here. And thank you guys for uh, coming through. Oh, who missed this one? Oh, oh, this lovely sitting in this room. Oh, we haven't done this before. We I know, we're always in the kitchen, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This room is so <laughs> nice. So civilized. Oh, thank you very much. I'm just going to go around then. Stephanie's having some happy juice tonight. Yes. <laughs> she doesn't need happy juice, she's always happy. <laughs> Uh, 
ever. And I like I see la vie. That's a very beautiful unicorn. When you press me to your heart, I in the bar, a world where roses bloom. And when you speak, angels sing from afar. Shadow love, baby. Life will always be la vie.